I do need to get another light. Anywho, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Shades of Mazani. My name is Mazani, for those of you who do not know who I am, and for those of you who do, but are just back for another video, welcome back. All right, you guys, so today I am back with a new video, a new type of video on my channel. I am going to be doing a mall haul. Um, I went to the mall um, for the first time, probably like in a long time, and really just like went shopping. Um, the first time was with my best friend. The second time was when, was when I spent some time with um, my siblings, and we went to the Tacoma Mall here. And then I also went to South Center Mall with my best friend whenever we went shopping um, then. It, I am really excited about all of the goodies that I got. Some of the stuff is I was trying for the first time. And some of the stuff I, you know, needed to re-up on. So <laughs> there's a mixture of different things in here, but I'm really, really, really excited. So um, before I hop into the video, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time that I post a video. Um, now let's go ahead and... Hop on it. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So the first place that I went to was Morphe. And look at this bath. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love Disney. Disney is one of my, you know, one of my faves. Um, <clears throat> and let's see how much did I spend. I spent $116. They were having like a 30% off sale, which was really nice. Um, we actually knew the store manager. So me and my best friend, we went in there and we always loved to kiki with her. Um, and so yeah. First thing that I got was a cleansing balm. So I was looking for a new cleansing balm. I learned that I really like it, especially when it comes to makeup. I think that it's like a good way to get the makeup to come off. Um, and then you can go back in with another cleanser and, you know, cleanse your face after you got all the makeup and all that good stuff off your face. Because if we're going to have a routine when you're getting this makeup off, honey, you may as well just get the makeup off. <laughs> so the first thing I got was the Clean It Zero 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm Original, and it's from Vanilla Co. Um, here is the packaging. I'll open it up so you can see it. And I have been using it. It is really cool. It has a little situation right here where you can like dip it down and like put it on your face. I really enjoy that. And it's just like a white kind of cleansing situation. It doesn't foam up or anything. Um, so you just do it on there. I like to use this one when I'm taking off makeup. It's like a good makeup remover one. And then I'll either go back in with it again um, or I'll use a different cleanser to get the rest of that. The next thing that I have that I bought was some lashes and I actually have them on. So these lashes that I currently have on, I really, really, really love these lashes. They're called Yes Queen. And yes, I really feel like they're like the perfect lash for like, even if you have on like not a lot of makeup, it's, a, it's still a really good lash to put on. I really, really love these lashes. I think that they're premium lash, so they're definitely not like a mink lash, but like a faux lash. Um, and they... Just, they do wonders. I've worn these a couple of times, so they're definitely reusable. And, um, yeah. The next thing that I got was the Uma Beauty Stay Woke. Um, uh, Stay Woke Brightening Concealer. I really, really, really like this concealer. I use it under my eye, under my brows to cut my brow. And then I also use it as, like, a high, for highlighting. And I really, really really like this um really like this concealer so I'm definitely going to go back when I next time I go to the mall or I'm like ordering things and I'm going to get the Uma Beauty the foundation to go with this because I just I really love their products I like the way it feels I got the milk um you'll see in for my Sephora I got the milk um 
was it primer and i really love the way that that primer the fenty beauty primer sits with it but i really want to know how this is going to sit with it because this is actually working really well with it too because i put a little bit of this on under before i put the primer and foundation on so anywho the next thing that i got was um the morphe um glow stunner hydrating tinted moisturizer with spf 30 in it and i'm really excited about this last summer i got a sample of this and i really 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 liked it um something that i really like for the summertime is tinted moisturizer because i tend to get darker because i like to be outside in the sun and such and though i'll put on sunscreen that doesn't mean i ain't gonna get a tan honey and seattle's been having you know some hotter summers lately um, so really, really, really excited about this, especially for the summertime, um, and just, you know, everyday use, because I be going to school, y'all. I can't be doing all this, like, at my job, I could, but I like to let the girls know that you ain't gotta be doing all this, and so I usually don't wear too much makeup. The next thing I got were the Make It Big um morphe lip plumpers i don't know why i got lip plumping i really i think it was i really just liked the color of the big t and i really liked the clear gloss and they were buy one get one free so i wanted this one so i got this one free um the lip plumping is not too much i've actually worn the clear one already uh it's not too much i actually really like it it kind of like gives you like a little mm, um but i mean my lips are already big so <laughs> i don't know how much lip plumping it actually gives but um it wasn't super stingy or any of that um i'm really excited to try this color let me just show you on this color real quick because it is fucking fire <laughs> it's fucking fire oh my gosh show you this damn so here, here is that. And then let me show you how it just. <laughs> I'm so excited to put it on my lips. To put it on my, put it on my lips. And I'm just going to go ahead and just blend that in. Because I mean, it's just a gloss. So super excited to try that and put that on with a look i might actually use this in a look tomorrow um when i do some filming some more filming for filming content i kind of want to do um, more toned down looks when i do try on hauls because obviously you don't want to have a whole bunch of makeup and you just get makeup all over your clothes and, and such you know <laughs> all right so the next two things that i got were brushes because I needed a few new brushes. I got this brush, which was the Morphe R42. And this one is to cre uh, do the crease on my brow. And this one is to blend in concealer um, under my brow and also just, you know, on my eyelids and around and such and like under my ass and such. Um, I have other tools that I use for that, but you know, <sighs> to hit myself um i don't you know i really like this one too anywho so yeah um the last thing that i got from morphe was the bad habit keep calm antigen smoothing toner super 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 excited about this because i have a toner that i use in my night skin my night routine for my skincare but i didn't have one for the day and this one from the ordinary that i have was like don't use it during the day and when they say don't use it, I'm going to believe them. So, because um, the ordinary, it's like real shit. Fuck yeah. Anywho, <clears throat> I really enjoy I really enjoy this one. It kind of comes off more like a lotion than it does um, like a water-based kind of thing situation. Um, but I am not mad at it at all. <laughs> I'm really excited to throw this into my skincare routine because you know I feel like I already have a pretty good routine for my skin but I'm super excited to add something else to you know help maintain the beauty that I got you know okay, so the next place that I went was Lush between the two times that I went because I went once um, so I was center with my best friend and then back again with my siblings. Um, the first time I spent 47, 
Second time I spent 38. So I spent about $85. Almost everything that I got was um a refill. So I use Magic Crystals as my body scrub. It is, and I've been using it, so it's kind of down there. But it's like this purple, um, purple colored, it's like lavender has a mint. It's like a, it kind of wakes you up, but also like it really prepare, it can kind of prepare you for, for like sleepy by time as well. The peppermint and spearmint oils keep skin cool, especially after a workout. So like it really like just helps to like soothe your skin. Um, and it just makes your skin so fucking soft y'all and so i use it because i like to be soft and supple so then um i wanted to try um a new body wash so i use one that's called happy happy in the morning and it really just like wakes you up but i wanted something that was kind of going to get me prepared for bed when i take a shower at night so i got a smaller version the first time when i went with my best friend at south center called honey i wash the kids um and this one has exotic flowers and skin softening honey um, make for excuse me what it says is exotic flowers and skin softening honey make for a sensual toffee scented shower and it was just like so so soothing and it smells so good um it really helps to like bring me like bring me down and like kind of wash away all my day and just like get prepared for bed and I'm so always so excited to get in my bed after I take a shower, you know, get in my onesie and go off to my bed. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was I got the smaller version and then I went back and got the bigger version because you know it makes sense, honey. It makes sense. So um I'm actually running out of happy happy, so I'm gonna go back and get um, a happy happy of these and then I'm also going to get a small travel size of those because I'm actually getting ready to go to Vegas so I don't want to bring my big one with me I'm gonna take the little one um and yeah. so yeah um those are the things that I got from that I got from Lush I don't usually get lotions from them because they just don't last very long and I'd be upset. Like, <laughs> I like lotion. I don't like to be dry. So, but I also want my lotion to like kind of last a little bit and their lotions don't last. So I usually get lotions from other place, but I really, really enjoy their shower products because they're really nice. So the next place that I went to was Sephora. So the first time we went with my best friend and girl, we actually kind of had a little bit of a bad experience at the South Center one. Um, the woman who was working in skincare like was trying to like force tips and advice down our throat. And then also then kind of suspected us of like stealing, even though we both had Morphe bags in our hands. We have no reason to necessarily steal, nor do Sephora and Morphe sell the same products. Um, but neither here nor there. One of the first thing I got was the Daily Greens from Pharmacy. I absolutely positively love this moisturizer i actually got introduced to this moisturizer through boxycharm um but i was so happy that boxycharm sent me this shit it was it is such a great moisturizer and i love it to death um i actually recently just got the whipped greens cleanser so i'm super excited to try that as well but i, I definitely got the daily greens and this is what the packaging looks like you can tell i've been using it um because <laughs> girl you gotta have the daily greens you gotta have the daily greens you know like keep your skin nice and supple i actually think i have it on under all this stuff i think i actually wore it today um but yeah i it's one of my favorite, one of my favorite skincare products. The next thing that I wanted to try was from Glow Recipe. It's actually papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm. Um, and because I told you guys I wanted to try a new cleansing balm, so I didn't know how I was gonna like that other one. So I decided to try this one. And this one is just okay, in my opinion. Maybe I'm not using enough of it, but it seems like it's more of like one for that for makeup in particular. So maybe I'll actually 
actually started trying to use this one when I took off makeup because it like it's like oil based kind of so you could tell like it it wants to break things down but if I don't have any makeup on like you ain't gonna break nothing down like it's just <laughs> dirt that you know we can get off with other stuff neither here nor there um i really did like this product but i think i'm gonna be using this is gonna be like a makeup remover one and not one that i maybe necessarily use like daily for like daily washing of my face but more when i have makeup on my face and i want to get stuff off because of the oil base but i really do enjoy the product all right and then the last thing that i got was from replica it was the jazz club um this one is just like a little sampler you know one i used it and i really actually enjoy this and i'm actually gonna put some on now because i haven't put any perfume on today i ain't got no man about to touch me so it don't matter I just love the way this one smells. I love the way the Jazz Club smells. The fragrance description is heady cocktails and cigars. And it just kind of reminds you of like, like a speakeasy almost, you know, like what you think a speakeasy would smell like. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed this scent. Um, I actually also got a dossier dupe of it so i'm really excited to try that one as well and to kind of like see how the scents mirror each other but i definitely am will be back to buy going back to buy or buying online from replica the bigger version of this and i'm also going to be trying bubble bath so we're just going to see what we got in store when i go so yeah that is from my first trip to Sephora and then on my second trip with my siblings um I just wanted to grab a few things so the first thing that I got was the milk makeup um hydro base grip primer I really 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 I've always liked that primer um so I just wanted to pick up a little one because I don't usually wear makeup that requires like a primer I like to wear tinted moisturizer so it kind of just like blends in with your natural skin tone or whatever um but so I got a little one of those but I think I'm gonna go back and get a little bit a bigger one um just because so I think longevity you know and then the next thing that I got was the Anastasia brow freeze and um I also got the brush that goes with it um so this is a really cool thing and it it is how I get my brows to be like this like it's really really interesting I'm gonna have to do like a little tutorial one day but so I use this before I do anything with my brows and I just kind of you know brush them so that they're going in the general direction that I already want them to be in I'll take this side and I'll dip it down into my brow freeze and this is what the brow freeze looks like it's just like a little gel or whatever but I dip that down in there and then I just apply it here and do it slowly and just like lift my brows all the way up um and do that I go do that a couple of times and then I let it dry for a sec I go over here I do this side and I do that same thing and then I let it dry I come back over here I if I don't have enough on my this in I'll take more brow freeze and just kind of like laminate it or whatever like cement it down on both sides and then just let those dry real quick it's really interesting because I don't I don't necessarily know what's in it but it's a very interesting type of thing it kind of itches a little bit <laughs> but like I think it's also just because a gel is drying on my face so it's just gonna itch naturally but yeah I was really excited to get this I actually saw these in a Bailey Syrian video here on the YouTubes and I was really excited to try it okay so that's all that I got from Sephora the first time that I went I spent 77 dollars and then the second time that I went, um, oh, that was just for the this, which was another 33. So that was for a total of 110. And then when I went on the second trip, I was I 
pay $62.92 for the other part. So I think about $170 total at Sephora. I feel like I could pick up some good things from Sephora that I things that I'm really happy that to try. I really liked the brow freeze. And then some old things that, you know, I've tried before and some things that like maybe it'll grow on me, but right now it's just a meh meh meh. <laughs> Anywho, the last place that we went to that's what we went to was Ulta. Oh, Ulta. So we went because I'm always down for an Ulta trip. My best friend needed. She was honest. She wanted to get some new skin skincare stuff, and Ulta sold one of the companies that she wanted. But she ended up having. She actually ended up getting it some of it at Morphe, and then having to order some of the other stuff because they didn't have it in either one of the Ulta stores that we went into. Neither here nor there. Um, one of the first things that I got was a file. I wear acrylics and so having a good file is always, always, always. I also do my own pedicures, so having a good file is always necessary. Next thing that I got was an Eco Tool beauty blender infused with antimicrobial silver. So, you know, it's just, it's a good, that's a good beauty blender. We're gonna try that. I've never tried it before. I'm really excited. Um, they were having a sale on Equal Tools stuff, um, Equal Tools branded things. So I also got a makeup brush and sponge cleaner. Was really excited about that because I love a good, I love a good cleaner for your brushes. I actually need to wash my brushes before we go to Vegas. Neither here nor there. Um, the next thing I got was the TGIN um, Honey Whip Hydrating Mousse. And I think this these ones, um, it's not necessarily for like laying edges or like, um, it's like more like a styling mousse um, and not like a, a setting mousse, if that makes sense. Um, it kind of makes your hair curly. I put some of this in it when I once I finished my locks. I put some of this in it um, and, you know, let it sit in. And it kind of like, you know, made everything like settle. But um, I find that it's not helpful with, you know, setting your, laying your edges for like your wigs or things like that. I was a little disappointed about that. But then again, when I reread it, I was like, oh, you set yourself up for that failure. But also for my hair type, my best friend has a different hair type and it works well for like, I think she said it works well for like laying her edges and things like that. Neither here nor there. Um, at Ulta, I spent $54.51 after taxes. The last thing that I got at Ulta was this scrunchie. And yes, from the company scrunchie, this scrunchie visor. I feel like this is gonna be a really cute visor to wear in the summertime. Like, look at this, it's just so cute. Um, and it's also something that I can take with me to um, when we go to cheer camp, cause you guys know I'm a cheerleading coach and actually something that I can wear and that'll be breathable. Um, so all of the, you can like kind of see through it a little bit. You can kind of, kind of see. It's a little mesh. I like it. I really, really like this hat. I'm really excited um, to wear and to incorporate it into some of my outfits in the spring and summertime. So yeah, that is the end of this video. Um, we went, oh, no, it's not. I have one more thing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my gosh, why do y'all put up with me? <laughs> Anywho, um, this next set is this next thing. I just wanted to show you guys this. I didn't get it at a mall, I obviously had to order it. So, um, Red Dolls and Flaza Couture, I think her name is Sasha, they did a collab, and I've always loved Sasha's energy, like what she puts out there into the universe, and she did this collaboration with Red Dolls, and I had never ordered from Red Dolls before, 
But when she when they did this, I had to order right away. At the time, I could only get two pieces because it was a little pricey. Well, not pricey. They was just you know, it wasn't time. It was a week before payday, so we had to make decisions, right? Neither here nor there. <laughs> we all need to talk about my financial whatevers. But um, when, when I I decided to pick up two pieces from them, and I really, really, really enjoyed these pieces. So the first one is like a crop top jacket, and you'll see it on my Instagram. Um, and then the bottoms are like these like tracksuit. It just reminds me of like the '90s, like early 2000s tracksuits like that everybody used to want but like make it curvy for a big girl so i was just really excited and i learned that i really like rep dolls um i i've followed them for a long time but i've never i've never bought anything from them and i was just reinvigorated and felt re-invited to like go and shop with them. And I was very happy with my purchase. I've already worn this once and it's super cute. It's super fucking cute, y'all. It's super cute. It's super cute. It's super cute. All right, you guys, so this is the end of the video. Um, I am so excited with all of, for all of my pickups and things. I'm just excited to use all of my stuff. Some of it I've already been using, as you guys can tell. Some of it I haven't used quite yet, frankly. Some of it's been sitting in the bag since I got it and some of the stuff I've been using. So I'm really excited to just put everything in its place and like start using it. So yeah, do you have any of the things that I showed today? Have you tried any of the, have you tried the jazz club are you a fan of the jazz club have you tried any of the other products are you a fan of those products let me know down below in the comment section until next time xoxo shades of mazani